and welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to bring to you a topic that has been on my mind for a little while and one of my friends um, Chronically Cassidy actually posed this question to me for a video idea and if you hear Hope barking in the background I'm so sorry but she has a tendency right now in her puppy stage to want to bark at squirrels and people and children and runners and everything. She doesn't run after them because she has the electric fence, but she tends to bark at them. And she's in the backyard right now and I have no way of getting her to be quiet. So just bear with me on that, I'm sorry. Anyway, so back to the main point. Um, this topic I want to talk about today is about um, having children or not having children or ways of having children when you have a disability. But I figured I would also add into it the dating component because obviously dating is a part of life whether you choose to get married or not or whatever. So basically, let's jump right in. Um, for me, um, well, I'm filming this on March... March 20, 29th, um, but by the time you'll be seeing this, it's May 1st, so happy May. May is Lyme Disease Awareness Month, and May is Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month, so both those causes are very dear to my heart, so go support them if you, if you can. Um, by the time you're seeing this, I'll be 22 years old for about four weeks, I would say. Two, no, 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 two weeks, maybe. 23. Did I say 24? I meant 22. Jeez, what the heck? Can't do math. Anyway, I'll be 22 by the time you're seeing this. And um, technically speaking, I've only been on one real date. And it was to get ice cream. And it was when I was 18 years old. And it was the most awkward slash horrifying slash never again experience of my entire life. Um, my mom drove me. Um, because this person drove, um, this person also had a disability, um, and he paid for my ice cream. Uh, he actually had to push me to the table, um, because I didn't have a chair that I could propel myself with at the time, which was stupid. I should have taken took and taken one that I could have propelled myself with um but it was a really bad experience because I think I was just really anxious like it was very awkward like we were in public like even though my mom I think she had went shopping or she was visiting my grandmother because the ice cream brother was not far from her house or you know something like that it was just very awkward it was not fun, I would say that. Um, it kind of just felt like, I don't know. Uh, like, I'm the type of person that if you schedule something with me, like, and if we do a time, unless you're my friend Cassidy and we need like an hour leeway, like that's fine. But like, I'm the type of person that like, if you say, meet me there at six o'clock, I'll be there at 5.45. Cause I hate being late to things I don't know it just makes me very anxious like rushing makes me very anxious so and I think especially when you're relying on other people to um, drive you places to help you get into places you want to be courteous to them too so I was trying to be courteous to my mom now mind you this was like a really hard summer for me because I had just graduated high school. I was trying to go to college, which that'll be another video that I'm gonna do too. So look out for that one. I was trying to go to college. It was just very, very hard. Um, it, I think it was like the hottest day of the year or something like that. It was really, really bad. Just, it was all around just not good. And I'm like a very independent person. So like I was gonna go and pay for my own ice cream and he was like, oh no, don't do that. Like he was trying to all be all macho and whatever. I think now I think that I would pay for my own because I'm a very independent person, like I said. 
Anyway, whatever. I think he was trying to make like a fairy tale out of it and it wasn't that at all, at least in my opinion. Um, but I'm keeping this anonymous because in case he finds it, hello, how are you doing? Um, although he's blocked on my social media too, so I don't think he will find it. Anyway, um, but yeah, so that was technically my first date experience. He tried to kiss me and I turned away because I just was not ready at that point. And I think that he was a little angry about that, but I think that that needs to be respected because, you know, I wasn't ready and it's fine. Um, now, I haven't been on a date since and that's a little bit tough because my cousins and my peers who are my age seem to be, I don't know if they're going on dates or whatever, but they seem to be hanging out with a lot of friends and going to bars and stuff like that. And even though I legally can, do all of that stuff and like I'm 22 at the time you know right now and I can drink if I choose to and I can do you know the bar scene and all that that's just not my cup of tea literally like it's not my thing um between the loud noises I like the music I would go for the music um but just people acting like a fool, you know, that's just not my thing. And I've had people literally, um, not because they were intoxicated or anything, but just like I was in college at one point and I had someone literally who was on their phone. I was pushing my chair. It was my other manual chair that's down in the basement. Um, I was pushing my chair at the time and they literally ended up in my lap because they were on their phone texting and they had no idea that I was coming, but I had the right away because I was looking straight, right? So all these things come into play and like a tiny little dance floor does not work for me. Like a wet, like I need, I need a wedding size dance floor if I was gonna dance, you know what I mean? Like I was, you know, it's just, it's awkward. It is, it's awkward. That's what it is, it is awkward to be in a chair, to try to move your chair around people, it's awkward. I do it at weddings, weddings are so much fun. Um, I've been to my sisters, I've been to a few cousins, and it's very fun. Um, now, would I wanna go to a bar one day just to say I've been there? Of course, like I think, I think that's on anybody's bucket list. Um, I would go more for the music and not the drinking because I choose not to drink. Um, because I have enough impairment with issues with my fine motor skills, with driving my chair, with driving into things into my own house. You should see my walls, they're all scratched up from the walker, the wheelchair, the dog, you know, all that stuff. So I choose not to do that. Um, doesn't mean that I wouldn't in the future, maybe for a wedding or something, but on the daily basis, I choose not to do that. So, I'm kind of at a place where it's awkward. So, if I'm not meeting people, I'm not exposed to that, to that sort of thing. Um, now, I do have... Nah, that's a lie. No. I have no male friends whatsoever. So, dating is not a thing right now. Um, and that's okay because it needs to be a special person. Um, it needs to be the right person who respects me and respects the things that I bring to the table um, personality-wise and just like um, with my chair and with my dog and with my grandma, you know, God, God willing, if she's still here, if she's not, whatever. It's that experience is still gonna change me forever and she's gonna be talked about every day. Um, you know, and I'm gonna have to do that, you know, whole thing. So it, it needs to be the right person, and I know that God will send the right person to me, and I'm not gonna go out there looking, because it, like, what is it? It doesn't matter, like, I'm not one for those dating apps, like, not really, because what's the point? 
It's not like even even with a even with a PCA, it's not like I would waste their time and be like, hey, let's do this. Like now, if I was out and about in the grocery store or the bookstore or you know somewhere like that, and I'd happen to stumble upon someone, maybe then. But I'm not actively looking at this point. Now versus um, the whole children thing, I would love children one day. Um, like I said, I'm 22. So I'm a little young at this point right now, maybe by 25 or 30 at the latest, I think, because then it would be unsafe, I think, if I, would, if I were to go any later than that. Um, and I haven't really thought about, like, what ways I would have a child um, if naturally was unsafe or didn't work out because I do have cerebral palsy so I do um I'm pretty sure I would be considered high risk if I were to have a child um if naturally were to be unsafe then I would probably adopt a child um because I think there are plenty of children who are infants who need um homes or even younger children who need homes in this country and even around the world um, who need adoption and that would be something that I would love to do um, you know I have the same dreams as everyone else I have the same dreams of owning my own home one day getting married having a child in which way or whatever having like three dogs or four dogs having a big yard you know being close with my neighbors and I have all those same dreams it's just Finding a way to get to those dreams is what I'm working on now. Um, but I think that any way that a person can bring a child into this world, whether it's adoption, through surrogacy, through IVF, through naturally, through whatever, I think it's a blessing and I think it's a gift um, because children are a gift from God in my opinion and they're a blessing to the world and to watch someone grow up in front of your eyes is just completely amazing because I don't have children yet but my sister has a niece and a nephew from the other side so my brother-in-law side of the family and to see them grow up is just so cute and adorable and it's amazing and they have so much fun and you know, I feel like I could teach a child a lot about being resilient and being kind to people and being accepting of people because I have a wheelchair and, you know, people aren't always going to be nice and hold the door open and people aren't always going to be, you know, nice about certain things. So basically that you have to be nice and then if you get it in return, that's great. But if you don't, then you just move on with your day. Because I've learned through the last couple of months that it's not worth it to jump in a puddle for someone who wouldn't do the same for you. And it's not an eye for an eye thing, because I would never do that. But just you get the respect that you give out. So if you give so much of yourself to someone, then, and they're only giving you, let's say, a quarter of themselves back that's not fair and I think it's very important to teach children to be fair to ask other children to play to you know do all of that because I only had a little bit of experience of that but then um, I think it was in like fourth grade then children started realizing that I was different than them which that was hard to deal with um, because I, um, actually that was kind of funny, I had um, named my wheelchair a big accessory from Limited 2, uh, just to try to seem cool. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, Limited 2 is probably like the 2000-ish version of like Justice or like those little kid teeny bopper stores. Um, and I, let me tell you, I didn't accept my disabilities for 
a really long time. And I think that's very typical of like children and teens. They just want to be normal, which what is the definition of normal? Nobody is like really normal, but I just wanted to blend in because I already brought so much attention to myself with my wheelchair and with my learning disabilities that I wanted to be socially normal and average and go hang out with people. But I was atypical in all of that and I could never do that. So now I'm learning to do that in my 20s and it's very awkward. Let me tell you, I still have anxiety like I did when I was 15, 12, 13, 14. And I think that's something that I'm gonna need to work through but I know that I can offer someone and another being a lot of potential. And it'll be interesting as I get older to see where that potential goes. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it made sense. And if you have any more video requests, leave them down below. Thank you and subscribe. Bye-bye.